Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. <laughs> What's going on guys, Son of Beast and Meatbone here, as we already finished the game here of Grizzlies and Warriors. It was very tough to see that it was a very intense matchup here in the Western Conference of Game 2. But right now, we have one more game left. Yeah, and unfortunately, me and Son of Beast are all finished for the night. We will be back here in game number 3, as we will have the Heat at Philadelphia. And then the next game... Will be happening here for number one to see the Suns and Jazz play at Utah for the next one part of the game. And now we're going to do something a little bit more different here. We're about to bring back the original court of the Icon part since season two and last season. Here to show you what is going on right here. Yeah, that's right. I think that we might be seeing what we got going on here in the Footprint Center. It might be something uh, tough happening. Well, you may never know. It might be something expecting. That might be a shock and surprise. If you already have seen the Valley of the Court, well, I know you have already seen this season, but maybe there might be another change that we can get right back into it. Now, let's send you over to Footprint Center as the commentators of Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, and of course the ever uh, crews of the commentators are on the board to get started things off and ready to be here for the second game. Me and me phone will be reporting here on Halftime Show and of course the post game show. So thank you for watching the last game and now let's enjoy this game to start off for the last one. Enjoy the last game here of Jazz and Sons of Game 2 of the NBA Conference Semifinals of the Playoffs. Brian Anderson, it's all yours. Enjoy. 2K Sports, welcome to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Conley. Paul 
passes to Aiden. And here's Booker. Five on the clock. The Suns need to get off a shot. It's a three from Paul. Utah with the rebound. Last time they met in Salt Lake City. I thought they had that game locked up. And then they got torched there in the final period. Got a hand on it. Pass to Crowder. They just can't take the lid off. Outside Connor. Mitchell with the ball. Outside the arc. Donovan Mitchell distance. for a three. He does a lot for their spacing when Mitchell's draining threes. That's what they want from him. He can really open things up for their bigs inside. Now here's Booker. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So he's passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Eight against Mitchell. It's tipped, and they'll get another chance. Gobert, no good. For Phoenix, they've got 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Bridges passes to Paul. Back to Bridges. Pass to Aiden. The kick out to Paul. And he's going for the OP. DeAndre! Chris Paul with the assist. And go down. And Paul can hurt you from outside. Devin Booker has a very rounded game with his shot. The last few years, Booker has taken more mid Mike Conley for three. He was comfortable pulling up from anywhere in the half court. I mean, he's learning to take whatever the defense gives him. Now here's Bridges. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Yeah, but there's always this point I got to look at. Where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Royce O'Neal. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Booker against Mitchell. Inside. Eight inside. Marked it down low. That Three second violation. Three second ball. Utah ball. And here's a group of players who have been dialed in since the All-Star break. The leaders in shooting percentage. Second is Rudy Gobert. As the season goes on, his shooting has really impressed, making the most of every look he gets at the hoop. Utah has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Pass to Bogdanovich. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Now Mitchell. 23 points for him last game against Dallas. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at. Where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Mike Conley. That one's good from Conley. <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Outside Booker. They need this. Devin Booker! Now that's how you Chris Paul with the assist. Positioning too gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of time. Come on, Utah. Timeout call. The Jazz. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. Yeah, and games like that are bad. To be so close to victory but let it slip away is frustrating. And you want to respond in kind, but that last game was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. You ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. The NBA Playoffs of 2K22 the Conference Finals is brought to you by your local Kia dealer, the official vehicle of the NBA. Express, dress like a pro. And by State Farm, like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Talk to your agent today here at 1 800 State Farm to get a quote today. That's a completely new group for the Suns. Make the 
First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in, Clarkson outside, pass to Pascal. Clarkson attacking, dunks it! Jordan Clarkson. Wow, he makes it look easy! You're going to burn yourself when you get up that close to Clarkson. He's explosive. Johnson finds pain. Right side against McGee. And Johnson... Yeah, man! Johnson by McGee attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. Clarkson passes to Pascal. Clarkson outside. Up top, Pascal covered by McGee. Oh, McGee with the block. Garen Johnson! Got his second back. Nicole Bridges with the assist. For Utah, they've gone five of nine from the floor. Three seconds separating the shot game clocks. And he lobs it up! And he lays in the outside. That's on right side. So oh, incredible! Jordan Save that Jordan one. Jordan Clarkson oh, with the assist. Is. Awesome! Here's Payne. Alexander Walker grabs the board. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. And so it's the That's the end of the first quarter. With a Utah 14. Phoenix Suns 8. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Carson winning the sixth man of the year in 2021. He talked about his experience with Jazz and head coach Quinn Snyder. It's been good for me. Day one, he's told me to come here and be myself, playing free with a free mind, and, you know, trying to help us get wins. And no doubt, Clarkson has been a revelation in Utah. I mean, B.A., he really has, taking his offensive aggression to new heights. That micro red hole suits him to a team. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. But uh, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that court. So the Jazz five right now. Eric Pascal is out there with Hassan Whiteside. Then there's Rudy Gay. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Clarkson. Free! We call Bridges! Some teams are already pretty much done. Yeah, when you're out of playoff contention, it kind of hurts. There's a bit of air let out of the balloon that way. But some teams take different approaches, B.A. They continue with what they've tried to build on. And then there are other teams that will play their young guys and give them an opportunity to grow. Now here's Payne. Really had his troubles in that loss to Dallas. He just couldn't find his rhythm. Pass to McGee. Back to Payne. He's off on that one. Ooh, white side with the defensive effort. Gay against Craig. Gay outside. Here's Alexander Walker. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Clock at two. The baseline Gay is on the way. The Jazz again can't hit. Box defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Here's Clarkson. Here's Whiteside. I saw Whiteside. Wow. Whiteside. Well, Whiteside beats everybody to the ball, but then maybe the wingspan comes out. Seven foot seven. Reach over the top, snatch it. Timeout, son. Phoenix calls timeout. There's so much to, uh, to make that one a, a lot of uh, hard uh, anticipation here. It can be a very tough one to go right by him on that point. So it may be a very tough one to go right in between the tricks of his own. 
I could be going for that one. It may be very tough to be a, a very hard impact on the run. Looks like a Jazz may be looking for a win here in game two and try to tie the series up here. But coming up after the first half, we will have is the halftime of the daily recap here for the first half and see how the teams done for the first half of the, of the second game. Yep, that'll be up next out there. Guys, back to you. Bridges still getting warm. The goal bridges for three. And that's a shot bridges needs to Jay Crowder with the assist. See his confidence growing. Conley against Paul. A shot by Conley. No good. Stuck away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Out to the wing. The three is up. Knocks down. Mike Conley for three. Conley's got eight points. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of what he should look to. Got him in the he says. I love it. Here's Booker. He can't get it to go. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Two minutes up in the first half of the period. Two minutes in the second quarter. Here's O'Neal. Eight points in his last time out. Stolen by Booker. And now the Suns fast break. Three bridges. Nicole Bridges for three. Devin Booker with the six. That's three in a row. Pass to Bogdanovich. Aiden against Conley. Go bear with it. Outside Conley. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Bridges. Long. If you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Devin Booker! Passes to the wide-open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Defense! Defense! One minute left in the second. Mitchell against Paul. Punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shot. Step back and fire. A rebound by the Jazz. Gobert's got four rebounds in the game. Here's O'Neal. Hooker defending. The fader. And Aiden pulls it down. He's got four rebounds in the game. And here's Paul. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. On the wing, Crowder. Here's Bridges. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. That's the end of the first set. In Phoenix. Phoenix and Utah. All right, Brian, thank you very much right now. As we are now in a halftime show, great game here going in game two, as the teams are now tied up already. Yeah, it was very, very tough. I don't know what to tell you this, but this is very uh, hard when to go by. Let's have a recap look here. Since the teams are in a hard pressure out there, there might be some solutions that could be going right from heavy to heavy take. What did you take here for the Utah Jazz, people? Well, I'm pretty sure that there is a, a tense work out there that can be very hard to make them discipline. And they want to like distract them and try to knock things over on the board and want to go for the series tie. And how about you there, son of a beast? The Suns really have some, a lot of attention out there. More importantly though, I don't have worries that you're feeling about this press. So that does it here for the halftime show. We send it back to Brian. Brian, you take on for the second half of the game. Great to have you with us. A shout out to all the moms out there on this Mother's Day. We've seen Mike Conley really having a great game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. They're yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. 
end in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out. Defense! We're discussing. Defense! Crowder and eight in the bigs. Paul and Booker in the talented backcourt. And it's Bridges in at the three. And that's the group for Monty Williams as we begin the second half. Phoenix has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Paul against Mitchell. Up top, Booker. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Oh, pretty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against the guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Pass to Mitchell. To the middle. Here's Gobert. And he's going to the line for two. The official. Follow up, Phoenix Suns, number 25, 25 at Gulf Bridges. His first personal, Bridges. first team foul. Defensive mm -hmm. stalwart. Rudy Gobert for the Utah Jazz at the line, shooting two. As well as rebound to Rock. of the game has picked up over the years. Grant, you've played on teams that played all styles. Did you sense the direction the game was going in? Yeah, towards the end of my career, B.A., you could see that the up-tempo teams got more and more successful. So it was inevitable that other teams would follow suit. As we know, trends catch on fast and quick in the NBA. And so Gobert nails both of them. The Suns trailing. Outside Booker to the inside. Aiden. DeAndre Aiden. Nice Down Booker with the assist. The second bucket. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team. Just fighting to them. Conley. Oh, the lead. Mike Conley. Was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Rudy Gobert. Oh, you love to see that kind of vision from Gobert. As much attention as he draws from the D, there's bound to be an open man, and he just got to find him. Now here's Booker. Impressive scoring stats with about 27 points a game. Here's O'Neal. He's guarded by Bridges. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Five to shoot. Fires from 14. And that one comes up a bit short. Not a bad shot from the big range, but he's giving it to him. He's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Down low. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Mitchell. Defensively by Crowder. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Gobert against Booker. Oh, great D that time from Gobert. O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Gobert. Over Booker. Gobert. Woody Gobert. And the Jazz lead by four. And this is where you get Gobert the ball. With his side. Side out, side. So tough to stop from there. Phoenix calls timeout. The NBA playoffs at 2K22 on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable network. Chips Ahoy, the official cookie of the NBA. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And the Suns will go for a different look here. McGee, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Johnson comes in for Crowder. 
Craig is checked in for Booker, and Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. A big group substitution here for Utah. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Two minutes. Pascal comes in for Bogdanovich. Gay's checked in for O'Neal, and Clarkson subbed in for Conley. Now here's McGee. Javale McGee. His first points in this one. Sometimes you like to see guys go with the bounce pass, threading it through there perfectly. Mitchell, pass to Gay. Now Clarkson. 4-3. Here's Whiteside. And he battles for Hassan the Whiteside. second chance bucket. Whiteside's got six points. That's just pure strength and size from Whiteside. Just a Hulk out there. It remains a matchup problem for basically any roster to try to match up physically. That's out of bounds. Sun's ball. Team possession. Phoenix ball. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. Shannon, he's checked in for Craig. And a switch here also for Utah. Alexander Walker's checked in. This is by Rudy Gay. Utah, 29, and Suns, 25. And we're coming back in just a moment to get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. Our activity defensively has been great. Active hands. Okay, the other thing is it's allowing us to defensive rebound. Okay, so keep attacking the defensive rebound. And Quinn Snyder really focusing on stops and limiting the other side to one shot per possession. Yeah, that's his calling card. Just a terrific defensive coach. He demands excellence from his guys on that end of the floor. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And Utah looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Clarkson and Bogdanovich, the two and the three. Rudy Gay out there with Eric Pascal, and it's Conley. Kevin Booker. She goes. Booker does not lack confidence when it comes to his ball handling. Wow, sensational there. Pass to Clarkson. Shoots over Booker. And misses it off the right side of the rim. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from going ahead. Outside Payne. To tie it up. And denied. He sends it right off the ball. Out of bounds. Sun's ball. Some changes for Phoenix. Aiden, he's checked in for McGee. Checking in for the Suns. Bridges. Number three, Chris Paul. Number 99, Jay Crowder. And number 22, DeAndre Aiden. We're about a minute into it. Utah leading. Clarkson outside. Jacks up a three. The Suns clear it. 
Thompson's got four rebounds now. It's rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Booker! Dan Booker! Jay Carter, D6. Pass to Clarkson. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. And a foul. Pass the foul to the Phoenix Suns. Jay Carter, number 99. His first, first team foul. Really a point guard and not really a shooting guard. Shooting two for the Jazz. Finding ways to, to stay in the game and stay aggressive and do whatever. For Jazz, number double zero, Jordan Clarkson, shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. We'll stick around here for later as you'll have the post game to show you the three star players of the game that done it the best. And without any of our uh, considered thoughts, it will be hard enough to find out who will it be. And so Clarkson nails both of them. For Phoenix, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Pass to eight. Sun's ball. Flair's ball. Mitchell's checked in for Clarkson. Donovan Mitchell. Checking in for the Jazz. The number 45. Donovan Mitchell. Here's Paul. Outside Johnson. To the paint. Here's Aiton. Pass to Crowder. Outside Paul. Chris Paul three on the board with a three there. Got to make a decision quick sometimes, and Chris Paul does that on the catch and shoot. Conley passes to Gobert. Outside Mitchell. Gobert finds Mitchell. Right wing. Clock at six. From deep, Conley. And another miss by Utah. The Suns leading. Crowder outside. Ball against Conley. The kick out to Johnson. Ball passes to Booker. Up and over Conley. And yes! Chris Paul! Paul's got five points now in the quarter. Defense! Two from outside here. Defense! against Paul. Two, two minutes in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Conley. He's covered closely. The three from Mitchell. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside of Booker. Back to Paul. Pass to Aiden. To the inside. Got a piece of it. In transition here by the Jets. Pass foul on Phoenix Suns, number one, Devin Booker. His first personal second team foul. Out of the line for the Utah Jazz, number 45, Jonathan Mitchell, shooting two. Number 25, Michael Bridges. made an immediate impact for Utah as a rookie leading the Jazz to a first round upset of OKC in the playoffs. Bridges, he's checked in for the Suns. No shots good from the strike. Now I think twice before Sun Sun the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. They're leading by one. 
There's so much to get right by it, and there might be another one to get right, right all around it. We'll be right back with you after this. There's a lot of spray rumor changes in between those teams, and this could be a very tough one to get things right by it. It's a very tough score because all I know it was looks like the Jazz are looking for a chance to, to take the lead out there, but it could be a very close call in between the range. Well, we'll see how well they do, Gary be fun. And with the post game coming up, after the regular game is over, we will have Ryan Brian Anderson finishing the close-off test, and we'll be right with you right underway. Guys, back to you. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Mike Coughlin. You, you know what's interesting? It, it seems like he's hitting everything he's putting up there. I mean, he's caught fire and just has continued on with the attack. I mean, his ability to pick the D apart, wow. So impressive, so incredible. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He told them, quote, it all comes down to the next few minutes. That's what will decide this game. So step up. This is your moment, not there. Chris Paul with the assist. And when you need a bucket, look to a guy like Mitchell. He's so effective on the floor at finding his scoring opportunity. Chris Paul! Chris Paul has been coming to see the shots in his three friends! Three friends! Here's Mitchell. Here's Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Number one, Devin Booker. His second personal third team foul. Out of line, shooting one for Utah Jazz, Donovan Mitchell.
Daniel signs number one. Number three, Chris Paul. His first fourth team foul. Out of line shooting two for Utah Jazz. Number 11, Mike Conley. was like a tough one. The three-pointer was no luck. I don't know what to tell you, Demi Phone. This was all that happened here. Well, that was tough. Well, now the series is already tied. They got some out of fantasies in between the range of the of DeAndre Ayton and Rudy Gobert. This was a tough in-between-the-makeout run that was able to help them try to clear the path. And now, this might be a very tough one to go right in by. So, it looks like it's time for the three star players of the game. Let's start off with you, Mifon. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what number three we have. We have is Devin Booker. Ten points, one rebound, three assists, one steal, and made two blocks in a row. Also, with the one hand dunk. I definitely turned out, boom, with two hands. That was a very great in between run that so did turn him out with the stock. Here for number two, Son of Beast, you're next. Here for number two, this one goes to Donovan Mitchell. Only ten points, two rebounds, and three assists. It only turns out to be in one intense motion out there in between the zones. They have some a lot of enthusiasm that they can try to handle to help him out. And now for number one, this one goes to Mike Conley, the New Balance player of the game of game two. That's right. Always know that he had made 12 points, 1 assist, and there is nothing else that he has done so far. Only had made a good field goaling percentage. 4 points made, and 2 3-pointers made, and at the free throw line was perfect. 15 performance run was not even that bad at all, on 15 minute court. So that ends it up here for the second game of the game. We'll stick around game 3 to start things off here as we will stay here in the Western Conference as the Suns are at Utah and then the Warriors are, are home playing against the Memphis Grizzlies as you already seen last time in the NBA play-in tournaments here on my channel of 2K21. There might be more out there but we are not sure what will happen here. So thank you for watching for this game too. And until always, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. Me and me photo gone. What a wonderful, what a wonderful intense game here. They could have got a chance to win, but it was a tough, tough decision. Have a good night here at the Valley of Phoenix, Arizona, and along with the Salt Lake City, Utah, taking notes.